Okay, let's have a look at titration curves. Here's the assessment statement. So we need to be able to sketch graphs of pH against volume for titrations involving strong and weak acids and bases. Before we look at the graphs, let's look at the definition of equivalence point. The equivalence point is when stoichiometric amounts of acid and base have reacted together. Okay? And just a quick word about titrations. A titration is where you run an unknown, a solution of unknown concentration into a flask. And in the flask you have your known volume and known concentration. And then you can calculate the unknown concentration of the solution in the burette. Okay? Right, so let's start looking at the titration curve from a strong acid and a strong base. So the curve starts off at a low pH, in this case it's pH 0, okay? And it increases gradually until it gets to here and you get a steep increase. That's called the point of inflection, okay? Now, halfway on this straight line here, we can calculate the equivalence point. So the equivalence point here for a strong acid and strong base is pH 7, okay? And then the curve levels off at a high pH because we have an SB, which is a strong base, okay? Right, let's look at the curve for a weak acid and a strong base. So the start of the curve is um, obviously a bit higher because we're talking about a WB, a weak, uh, sorry, weak acid that should be. Um, so we're talking about a weak acid and the curve starts off and it increases gradually until we get the increase. Now the equivalence point is obviously not pH 7 anymore, okay? And we'll have a look at why it's not pH 7 later. Now the important point to note here is we have this called the buffer region. Okay? Now in the buffer region, what's happening is the solution is resisting a change in pH. Okay? If you remember the definition of a, of a buffer, buffer system. Okay? Now there's one more thing we can do. If we uh, measure halfway, okay, between the equivalence point and the start, and we could draw a line straight up like that, and then across the half equivalence point, okay, which, which is measured in the volume, okay, along the bottom, the half uh, equivalence point here, and then go across there, and you can determine the pKa of the weak acid. Okay, and we will look at an example later where we do that. Okay, so some points to note. The pH at equivalence point is around 9. Okay, there's a buffer region, which we just looked at. And the pKa can be determined at the point where half the acid has reacted with base. So at this point, we have equal quantities of weak acid and the salt okay, which makes the buffer solution, okay. Right, next is the strong acid and the weak base, okay. So we start off with a low pH because we're talking about a strong acid, okay. And again, the pH increases gradually until we get the point of inflection. Now the equivalence point is below 7, less than 7, okay. We could say that's, that's around pH 5, isn't it? Okay, so the pH at equivalence point is around 5, and then it levels off at around, what's that, pH, between pH 8 and 9, okay? Because obviously we have a weak base, okay? And the last one is a weak acid on weak base. Um, in this case, we're adding the acid to the base, so we start off with the weak base up here pH around uh, 8, 9, 10, pH around, say, 11, okay? We start at pH 11 up here, and then we come down, and the equivalence point is pH 7, okay? For a weak acid and a weak base. 
Right, let's look at an example, okay? So in this kind of question, you are asked to find the pH at the equivalence point. Now, we have this straight line here. Try and draw a straight line there. Now, halfway is, say, there. And then you go across here, and you'll find that halfway is bet halfway between 9 and 10. So the pH at the equivalence point is around 9.5. Okay? So that's how you determine the pH at the equivalence point. Another thing we could measure is the pKa of the um, weak acid, okay? Because this is a weak acid, obviously, because we're starting off around pH 2.8 or pH 3. Okay, we're starting off at pH 3, which is a weak acid. And the volume is here, is 22 centimeters cubed of base, right? Obviously, this is the base, NaOH. So we go halfway... I'm going to try and draw a line going straight up. Okay, not a perfect straight line. You should be using a ruler for this. And then you can go across like this. Okay. And approximately we have, um, if you were to use a ruler, I guess it'd be a bit lower. You'd end up with the pKa of about 5.3. Okay, because at the half equivalence point, the uh, pKa is equal to the pH, and the pH is around 5.3, so the pKa is the same, 5.3. Okay?